there are a lot of people who know the song. And so a lot of times it'll be like I'm walking somewhere and someone's like staring at me. And they're, <laughs> they're like, do this. And I'm like, who are they waving at? <laughs> and then finally, I, like they're like, no, you. And they like come up and talk to me. So, so that's like, that's weird. But uh, it's, it's been a fun journey overall. Hey friends, it's your girl, Emily Curl. We're back here at our iHeartRadio headquarters in New York City, and today we're hanging out with rapper, artist, content creator. We have Paul Russell in the building. Can we give it up for Paul? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank she you. Like I need to <laughs> know go. Paul. I cannot stop listening to that song, and I feel like that's been, it. like, we all feel the same way. Lil Boo thing, it went absolutely viral on TikTok. <laughs> so nice to have you here to hear a little bit about you and behind the story. Let's start with the song. Well, the thing, did you know it was going to take off the way that it did? Absolutely not. No. I mean, the goal wasn't for it to be a song. I, I just posted it as like, oh, here's a quick thing to like spread out the content I'm already making. But yeah, it wasn't, I didn't even think it, people would care about it. But I, I remember I, I put the little video out and then I went to play mini golf <laughs> and my phone was just blowing up and I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? And then, yeah, now I mean... It's everywhere, which is crazy. <laughs> Has music always been a big part of your life? Like, is that always something you wanted to do? Yeah, oh, definitely, from the beginning. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, my, well, I don't remember this, but my parents tell me about this, that, like, I would get kicked out of daycares because they'd put on jazz music at nap time, and then I would hum it. Like, I'd hum along to the music, because my, my dad was, like, a big jazz fan, so a lot of it was stuff I knew, and so I would just stay up and hum the music, and they'd be like, this kid is, like, <laughs> waking everybody know. up. That's so um, funny. But yeah, I mean, it's always been a part of my life. I wasn't always planning to be a musician, but just over time, uh, as I realized how much I love it and how much it can kind of like have an impact on people, I just decided to try and see what I could do with it. Yeah, were, were your parents musical or was it just something that just came naturally to you? Just me, I guess, yeah. I mean, my parents love music, yeah. but yeah, they're not like musicians, I would say. So, yeah. yeah, it's so interesting to see your journey and I feel like it's so cool when we like see TikTok creators, they, they post something online and, and you really find an audience that resonates with your content. You mentioned you posted other videos before. What were you primarily doing? What was the focus before music? Yeah, well, I mean, it was always music. I'd okay. say, like, the first time that I got on TikTok uh, was because a friend of mine, uh, he, like, was big in that world. Or, like, not big. Like, he, like, loved TikTok and was always on the app. And I was like, what are you talking about with this? And he, he said, like, hey, bro, you make good music. Like, why don't you try to you know, put it somewhere and have like visuals with it and have it be a thing. Uh, but for me, I was like, oh, that's kind of corny. Uh, so he <laughs> he was like, okay, let's sit down and like plan out some videos for you to make and just see what happens. Mm. And so then I ended up making a bunch of like remix videos. Like, I mean, honestly, similar to Boo Thing in that I would find a song that already existed that uh, like people were listening to on the platform and then I would just like add a rap verse to it. I know, uh, because the first video I ever saw of yours was the Bruno Mars one. Really? Yes. Hey, yes. Wow. That was a fun one. That was yeah, a good one. Yeah. That's still hey, one of my favorites. Appreciate face. it. Yeah. yeah. It was fun. It was, it was cool. And I think, I don't know, okay, it helped Okay, so I didn't realize that that was a series that you were doing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I just, it, initially, it was like, I was just doing that. And it was fun because I could figure out kind of my sound, I guess. I could see, like, what sorts of songs I liked, you know, making a, a verse, you know, writing a verse to, and what sorts of things people resonated with. Yeah. Uh, which definitely helped me a lot in music. Uh, but honestly, after doing that for a while, it started to feel like, man, I'm using all of the coolest stuff I can think of on songs that I'm not allowed to release because they're all, you know, yeah, it'd, be like, it'd be on a... So then I just kind of stopped doing that and started releasing music. And it worked out that Boothang came at a time where it's like I already had music that was out and I had people who were kind of listening to me and then going back to the, you know, the kind of you know, remix sort of thing per se. So it, it connected those two worlds for me, which yeah. which just, I think, led to a lot of people finding out about the song and enjoying it and yeah. I'm always curious now with artists, like how much, how you prioritize, prioritize your time. Obviously you're creating music, you're writing yeah. music, but like content creation, it takes a long time. Like anyone who's made a TikTok video or like knows what it's, keep, what it's like to keep up a profile. That is like a huge chunk of it. Oh, yeah. So how do you delineate like what you focus on at a certain time, especially as you're like, you know, getting off the ground and figuring out exactly who you want to be as an artist? 
Yeah, I mean, it's changing a lot now. I remember, like, I, I used to work a day job as well. And oh, so what'd you, what'd I would, you do? What it was, was like, like finance at a, at a tech company. Oh, interesting. Um, which, it was fun. It yeah. was fine. It was a lot of hours. Uh, but the, kind of the way I do it is I would block out. And this was, I recently left the job. So now I'm, like, figuring out my new schedule, I guess. Oh, but, so this was fresh. Uh, this is fresh. Yeah, I left, like, a month ago. Yeah. What? So, hey, yeah. So you just went full-time. I just went full-time, yeah. All right, can we, can we <laughs> Cheers from all. Oh, <laughs> just hey, your thank you, thank you. Wait, that's I didn't uh, realize it was so soon. That's, yeah, that's... yeah, it's been cool. But wow. uh, yeah, initially the way that it worked back then is like I'd block out like three days every couple of months and just write a bunch of songs and I'd like take a day off and like be over a weekend or something. And then those would be the songs that I would release for that year or, or however long. And then all the other time I'd just be working and then I'd have one day every weekend where I'd go and just like shoot some stuff to, to post. Oh, and then the rest of the time I was just, you know, living a normal life. But now it's like stuff is picked up and it's like there's not only the content stuff, but there's everything else that's yeah. a part of being a musician. And so now it's like, all right, I still have to figure out the plans and schedule everything out, but it's, you know, it's like, it's a whole thing now, which is cool. Can we go back to your job for a second? Because did your coworkers realize? Yeah. Like your alter ego, your other yeah. life that you were living? <laughs> yeah. Did it they was, like your music? It was wild. Yeah, no, people loved it. I mean, I, I remember at first I didn't tell anybody because I was like, oh, I don't want people to be like, oh, is he doing this on company time? Like that kind of thing. Yeah. And then over time, people started to find out, but I'd always tell them like, Shh, you know, like I had people messaging me like, oh my gosh, I just heard your song. Like, can I put this in the, the company email or the company, you know, group chat or whatever? And I'm like, no, 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 no. Did and you ever then, write a jingle for the company? I feel like you could no, have written a little I finance jingle. Come on, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I could have really sold some stuff there. But yeah, no, I just, uh, I think over time it became a thing where it was like, okay, now everyone kind of knows and everyone's organically seen or heard something. And then, you know, I, it felt like it was time to go as that was happening. So it was like, okay, it fits, it, it feels right now. So they were excited but for you. They were, they were ready, excited for they me. They were ready for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, no, everyone, everyone was pumped. And some people had come to shows before, at least the younger people. Uh, so yeah, people were along for the ride. And then the like thing took off so like, it was yeah. like everywhere. Was, were, yeah. your, were they singing it to you? I feel like you'd yeah. walk by. <laughs> yeah. No, everyone in my life is singing it to me, which is why I literally yeah. sing it to you as you came in. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's so no, it's, it's so nuts. Catchy. It's nuts. Yeah. It's insane. It's like, and it's crazy. You're right. How fast it's all been. Like it's, yeah. the song's been out for three weeks. Uh, but yeah, it's like every day now I have a message I get from someone that's like, I'm at, you know, this sports game or I'm at somebody's wedding and they're playing your song and, you know, wow. it's it's wild. Obviously, it's like you've taken off into a whole like new level of, of your life and your career. What's been like the most surprising thing for you that maybe you like and maybe on the opposite end that you're like, okay, that's going to take some getting used to? It's cool how a lot of people know the song and so I'll go places and people will be like, oh my gosh, hey, I love your music, da da da. But it's like taking, it's taking getting used to, not because it's bad, but because I haven't pictured, I guess I haven't really realized that there are a lot of people who know the song. And so a lot of times it'll be like, I'm walking somewhere and someone's like staring at me. And they're, do do? they're like, do this. And I'm like, who are they waving at? <laughs> and then finally, I like they're like, no, you. And they like come up and talk to me. But, so that's like, that's weird. But uh, it's it's been a fun journey overall. What's, sure. the, what's the first thing fans say to you when they meet you? Is there something that they say pretty often? Honestly, I think a lot of people know the song but don't know my name. And so they'll be like, <laughs> you're that guy. And there's so, and the first time it happened, like that's literally the thing that happens all the time. Someone's like, "You're that guy." At first, I'm like, "Which guy?" <laughs> Just to make sure, From like where? maybe maybe yeah. you think I'm someone else. But then enough people will be like, "The you're my little booth," and then I'm like, "Oh yeah." yeah, yeah. That's me. So that's now me. I just am like, "Yep, I am that guy." <laughs> Uh, you are that guy. Paul <laughs> yeah, I'm that guy. His name is Paul Russell, y'all. Okay. <laughs> yes, let's go. But um, yeah. <laughs> what about the inspo behind the song? Where did it come from? Yeah, I mean, well, I love "Best of My Love" by The Motions, which yeah. is the song that's sampled in it. Uh, I remember I was just sitting around in my apartment. I was listening, just you know, to a bunch of music. That song came on. I loved the the intro to it, like the horns in the beginning, just like take over, they like smack you in the face. And so, yeah, I found an instrumental of it and I was just freestyling over it. And then I recorded part of it and yeah, that was that was the the impetus for the whole thing. But I think yeah. I was thinking about, you know, when I made it, I was thinking about, there's so many like SoundCloud remixes that I like where someone took some old school song and yeah. an instrumental of it and they took a, you know, some like Drake song or whatever and they just put them together. And yeah, it was kind of like, oh, I'll make something like that. Again, it wasn't meant to be a song, but it was like, this is yeah. fun to like write something to this. That's so cool. Okay, so I'm sure you're still continuing creating. Are you working yeah. on new music? Like, what can you tell us? I am. Yeah, yeah. New music on the way. Yeah, I've been just 
making a lot of stuff, honestly. So figuring out the timelines for everything, there's still, you know, I still have to figure out how to release and when to release and all of that, but I'm super excited about what's next. And we have a music video for Lil Boo Thang coming oh, out soon. And what about for you, like in your videos, do you cast like family and friends? Yeah, a lot of friends, a really? lot of friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it takes a lot of just like phone calls of being like, bro, yeah. do you want to be? But the good thing is like people are excited about my music and just, totally. like, my friends are. And so, you know, they're always down to come in and have a good time, which is, it makes it fun. Yeah. yeah. What does your like close inner circle think of everything going on in your life? Oh, they, yeah, Are they, they love losing it. Their they're minds? losing their minds. Yeah, they're like picking which celebrities to be friends with. They're like, hey, bro, <laughs> you're going to meet this guy soon, I'm sure. Like, make sure you put in a good word. Tell him that I, I'm like, bro. <laughs> put in a good word. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. connected us <laughs> like, with hey, him. Yeah, my homie back home is like, yeah. <laughs> I really want to um, say hi. Which is, yeah, so that, that part's cool. And like, you know, I have a lot of friends who all have like, in the background of a song, like singing, like, you know, so that, that part's fun also, like feeling like I'm bringing them into the world yeah. and being a part of it, so it's cool. Is there That's anyone fun. that you're particularly excited to meet or hope to meet soon? Wow, I don't know, I mean, uh, a lot of people. I met Neil deGrasse Tyson today, which is oh, so no random. Way. Really? Yeah, I mean, Where? Man, we just like ran into each other. <laughs> oh my God. No, New York but, really is so small New like York that. New York is a place yeah. like, yeah, it's crazy. You see everybody here. Yeah, so, yeah. so fun. <laughs> I love it. Well, Paul, we're so excited for you. Thank you so much for being here. We love this song. We cannot Thank wait to you. hear more music. Amazing. Hey, well, I got it for you. I can't wait. <laughs> Can we get up one more time for Paul? Cool. Let's see you. Thank you so much for being here, Paul. And of course, thank you all for watching. Make sure you stream Paul Russell's new song, Lil Boo Thing. It's out now on iHeartRadio. And we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here. And don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. See you next time.